Let's interview Gooey. <laughs> Gooey, tell us about what it's like being a, <laughs> being a dog. Hey guys, it's Najea. Um, I'm back with another YouTube video. This is a follow-up video of my Get Ready With Me for my Hollister interview. So now, my Hollister interview, funny story, the day I recorded for my Get Ready With Me was the day of my original interview. But things went wrong and I had to get it rescheduled for today, which is Tuesday. Probably won't be Tuesday when I post this video, but today's Tuesday. Um, and it went really well, so I wanted to tell you guys about it and give you guys a few tips about um, what it's like to interview for Hollister and some tips on what you can do to um, make your interview go a little bit smoother. So I'm going to read you some of the questions that they ask um, for the interview. Question number one that they'll ask you are, is your name, age, school, something you like to do for fun, and why you chose to work at Hollister? Um, so the first thing I want to say about these questions is what's most important you should definitely try to make your questions or your answers a lot different from everyone else's. Don't try too hard and then you sound like you're trying hard, but find some really interesting facts about your life and use those the most. Don't make, don't use anything too generic that other people are gonna use. And because it's usually a group interview, you'll be able to hear other people's answers before you answer, unless you go first, then you kind of, you know, have to figure it out. Um, another question they might ask is, what is your biggest accomplishment and what did you do to achieve it? Um, the answer I gave was my internship working at a magazine company. I went out and got that internship on my own, so that was a really big accomplishment for me given that I want to work in the fashion industry. Name a time in school or work when you had to work with a group of people on a project or task and how did it work out? Um, I named a time where I had to work on a project in class and I didn't know any of the people, so I talked about how it was for me to get to know each person and their work ethic. Um, and how that was interesting because some people who I didn't know how they worked with other people, I got to see how they worked with other people. So that was kind of like a, that's how I used, that's how I answered that question. But it wasn't, that one was kind of generic. That was most, that was my most generic answer. Another question that's similar to the last one, name a time when you had to work with a group of people who are from a different background and how did it work? Now this question, I kind of went off topic, but I think the interviewer liked it. Um, I said that my best friend is a different culture than me and I guess that was kind of interesting because it shows when you're with your best friend you're usually with them more than you're with other people so um, I explained how we don't always agree on the same things um, in certain situations because she sees it differently than how I see it so I showed how sometimes we have conflict when it comes conflict of interest when it comes to certain things but we always work it out and that that relates back to working because when you have um, maybe a conflict with another co-worker if you're able to show that you can work a situation out um, between the two of you that that looks good so I guess I give a good example when it came to me and my friend um, another question this one I enjoyed answering this one it's um what trends are you interested in right now and how would you use that to help a customer find what they're looking for? Um, she asked this in two forms. That it was the first one was that was the first way she asked it. And I said, or sorry, that wasn't my question that belonged. That question was someone else's, but they answered it basically saying what trends they were interested in. One kid said he was interested in the Yeezys and um, he liked the, he has a pair of Yeezys. I was like, whoa. Um, but he said he liked Kanye style, some other guy who made his own brand. Um, he said he liked the hipster style, so that was his trend that he picked. And he said he would help a customer, you know, by explaining that, oh, if they like that kind of style, he would direct them to what part of the store kind of gives off that kind of vibe. My question was who inspires my style and how would I use my style to help a customer um, pit look with, find what they're looking for. I said that my inspiration was Lisa Bonet, so I said that I kind of have like a laid back, chill type of bohemian style, and I said that I would help a customer find what they're looking for um, by uh, basically directing them to whatever... Hollis is already a laid back place, so if they're trying to find a different type of like, you know, laid back, chill vibe, bohemian style similar to mine. I would know where in the store to find that because me working there, I know where things are and how how I could direct them based on what their style is. If that makes sense, that was a lot. Sorry. And that's pretty much it. They don't ask too many questions. They ask four questions for each person. A question that I thought I was gonna hear that I didn't hear. 
um, was the diversity question. A lot of people were talking about the diversity question and they didn't ask that at all. I think that the closest to that one was how do you work with people from a different background, but besides that, it was pretty good. Now, on to the tips for the interview. So when I, I was there, I came like a whole 40 minutes early. I was there sitting there doing nothing for 40 minutes. I was like, why did I come so early? This is why I'm late for everything, because no. Um, I was sitting there, I got to see everybody come in. They all looked really shy, um, but I was kind of trying to keep my cool. Like, you know, I wasn't like twiddling my fingers. I wasn't like playing with my hair. I was kind of just chilling, like, okay. I would look at my phone once, like once in a while here and there. Um, but as soon as the interviewer came in, everyone's like little quirks came out. One girl had her like legs crossed really tight and she like had her arms into herself like like really close. Um, one kid had a sweater in his hand. Like, let's say these are like the sleeves of his sweater. He's doing this the whole time while he's talking. He was like, yeah, and um, so I would help the customer by, and literally like tying himself up, it was really bad. Um, and then another girl, she kept doing this, like her knee would be here and she would just be like this the whole time as she talked, she would just do this. Um, and then the kid next to me, who's probably really calm, he was pretty normal, like he was really chill, but his answers were kind of bland, so. And then the other kid who was like across from me, um, he, he did well, but the first thing that he said, which was not all that good, I think he was just nervous. He said the reason why he needed this job at Hollister was to pay for his college tuition, which wasn't very good. You're not supposed to tell people that you need it for the money, you know? It's just not a good thing. When you go for an interview, do not tell the work the interviewer that you're working for the money. Don't do that. Oh, be sure to get their name. Smile at them um, as much as you can without forcing it. You don't want to walk in like, hi. They're sitting there, they haven't even asked, their, like, asked a question, and you're just like this, waiting for the question. Yeah, it's, it's really awkward. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Show personality. I told them, um, they said, what do you like to do on your free time? Um, and I told them, I was like, oh, well, I like to dance and I make YouTube videos. When I said YouTube videos, the interviewer was like, really? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, can you tell us? Like, she really went kind of off topic. She was like, well, can you tell us about that? Like, how does that work? And I was just telling her, like, it looks like the final product looks so easy. But the behind the scenes work is actually pretty complicated. And she was like, yeah, I can I can imagine. So that kind of made me feel good. Um, but besides that, I think I did pretty well for my interview. Um, and I hope I get the job. I felt like I did pretty good. I was really happy to hear that Hollis is very like free as far as dress code. Um, you just have to wear things that are similar to their style of, of a store. You can have nose piercings. You can have ear piercings. You just can't have any crazy piercings like on your eyelids or your eyebrows or your cheek dimple. Like, you can't have those. But um, any other ones you can have, you can have tattoos, that's great, I didn't know that. Um, and your makeup can be however you want, it can be bold, it can be, you know, plain. Um, so these were kind of like some pluses that I heard about um, Hollister. And they also give generous discounts, which is also something I heard, which is kind of good, because who doesn't like discounted clothes? Discounted, di uh, bleh. who doesn't like discounted clothes? Discounted clothes are great. Um, but yeah. If you guys have any more questions about Hollister in the interview, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to know about it, and I'll be sure to answer your questions. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll see you soon. Bye!